Well, this session gives a brief introduction to uh, binary response variables and uh, a history, a brief history of um, this type of model. And um, binary response variables are uh, most commonly seen and used response uh, variable type. And here I can give you a couple of examples. For example, voter turnout, right? Either one voted or not. Um, also, if we have a two candidate uh, election, then we have, um, let's say, uh, if one is forced to choose either, then we have a um, binary response uh, variable, right? Either choose A or choose B. And uh, we could have binary response variables uh, in health research, such as health status, an individual having good or bad health, um, having certain health condition or uh, without that health condition, right? Either have diabetes or not have diabetes, have, let's say, uh, hypertension or not hypertension, um, have a cancer or not have that type of cancer. Uh, for educational attainment and achievement, sometimes we can uh, encode uh, such data as um, binary uh, variables. For example, having college education versus below, right? Having college education and above versus below. Having, let's say, um, um, high school education beyond or having a uh, less than um, high school education. So all these variables can be coded as, as binary. Um, literally, um, for any type of yes, no questions, have, have not scenarios, we can have a binary response variable. Uh, let me give you a brief uh, history of uh, binary regression models. And we have uh, different types of binary regression models depending on how one chooses the distribution of error terms. Uh, first, let me talk about a brief history of probit model when uh, the error term in a structural model is assumed to follow a, a standard normal distribution. So in 19, excuse me, in 1733, the Moach found a normal approximation to the sum of several terms in a binomial expansion in problems of chance, of chance. So uh, the Moach, he kind of derived uh, approximately normal distribution. Uh, Laplace in 1778, Adrian in 1808, and Gauss in 1809 uh, independently discover a normal distribution, uh, which is expressed as uh, follows, as follows. And here we have exponential function. We have exponential function. And uh, sigma is the... Uh, population parameter of uh, standard deviation of a random variable. And mu is the uh, uh, mean uh, of random variable X in the population. So again, a population parameter, okay? And Fackner's methods uh, invented in 1860 were uh, tend to mount to the modern quanto uh, response analysis uh, probe. Gadam in 1933 and Bliss in 1934 A and 1934 B uh, invented probe. And uh, in most uh, literature, Bliss 1934 paper published in science uh, is usually considered to be uh, the first uh, application of this uh, modern form of uh, binary regression models. 
Then is the logit model. Um, well, uh, logit model uh, is used when the error term of a uh, structural model is assumed to follow standard uh, logit distribution. Um, and the, the sigmoids, sometimes the log logistic distribution is called the sigmoid function. The sigmoid function was introduced to initially study population growth. And it has this uh, formulation. So it's exponential of uh, some term over one plus exponential of, of uh, same thing here, alpha plus beta x, right? Okay. And uh, Verhurst in 1838, uh, he is a Belgian, a Belgian mathematician, uh, first came up with this function while solving a differential equation and named it a uh, logistic function. This function was rediscovered by Pearl and Reed in 1920 while studying the population growth in the United States. Berkowitz in 1944 proposed the use of a logistic function for modeling bioassays, thus the use of logit. So a little bit behind probit, uh, but logit uh, uh, stands out as uh, probably the most popular form of binary regression models because it has uh, some advantages over uh, uh, other types of binary regression models such as probit and logit. Uh, for example, we can use odds ratio interpretation, whereas other uh, binary regression models don't have that uh, nice feature. And uh, well, uh, J. S. Kramer in 2003 discussed origin and the development of logic model, and to a lesser extent, the problem model. In my discussion uh, previously. Uh, was based off uh, J.S. Kramer's paper.